the roots of the stress are in the culture. It's just go, 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 go. And many of us get caught in that trap where we sort of want to out hustle or outperform. We have to be productive all the time. Welcome to the Siebland Podcast. I'm your host Siebland and our guest today is Andrzej Matsukiewicz. Andrzej is a director and videographer with who I made a documentary movie called Stronger by Stress. Stronger by Stress is based on one of my books with the same name and talks about how to become more resilient and healthier through hormesis. This episode is brought to you by Blue Blocks, my favorite light and sleep optimization companies. Artificial light at night exposure is associated with diabetes, obesity, heart disease, cancer and Alzheimer's. Blue Blocks provides the highest quality blue blocking glasses that filter out the specific wavelengths that have been shown to suppress melatonin in studies. Melatonin is more than the sleep hormone. It's also vital for longevity, anti-aging and immunity. Artificial light exposure suppresses melatonin up to 99% and makes your brain think that it's daytime before bed. That's why I love using Blue Blocks to guarantee my body is making high amounts of melatonin prior to sleep. They also have daytime lenses that you can use to reduce digital eye strain and retinal damage when working in front of a computer all day. You can get a sweet 15% discount of all the Blue Blocks glasses, red light light bulbs, red light devices and sleep masks if you head over to blueblocks.com forward slash seamlund and use the code seam15. That's B-L-U-B-L-O-X dot com forward slash seamlund and the code is seam15, S-I-I-M 15. Andy, welcome to the show. Hey team, how are you? I'm doing good. It's uh, great to have you on the podcast and uh, you know, you're the, let's say, mastermind behind uh, the new movie that uh, we're releasing together and uh, where I'm also being uh, casted. Uh, so um, yeah, I mean, maybe before we start to talk about the movie, let's maybe, you know, let's start with, you know, why did you, you know, approach me in terms of wanting to create a movie together? And uh, yeah, let's start with that. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I've been interested in health. Uh, I, I would even say it's like uh, one of my hobbies. Uh, so uh, I was just like following uh, all your podcasts and also other biohackers po- podcasts and stuff and reading books. And uh, I just realized that pretty much everyone, is, everyone who is 30 or older usually is interested in health in some way or another. But not everyone has a uh, time and to listen to, I don't know, four or five hours of podcast per day. <laughs> but I had for some reason, or I just, I was more interested into that. So there is, a, the information is out there. Like uh, even in this film, you won't learn anything new or exclusively new, you know, like uh, you can get this information out there, but it just like takes a lot of time to find people who you can trust. And uh, so I thought like, uh, uh, I could save a lot of time for a lot of people by putting all, all this wisdom into one and a half uh, hours, you know? So that was my main motivation mm, to do yeah, this film. Yeah, yeah. We actually like met first time maybe two years before starting the movie when you actually came one of one of my retreats and uh, then we first met the first time and then you um, like uh, approached me again in 2020 uh to make this movie so uh and uh, yeah now it's been yeah like almost a ha- year and a half in the making or almost two years and uh yeah it's gonna be released uh the first time uh, on itunes on uh, march 8 and it's also going to be coming out on other platforms across the world so europe and north america and uh, everywhere that's uh, correct yeah right but uh, maybe let's, i'll just show the trailer the roots of the stress are in the culture it's just go, 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 go. And many of us get caught in that trap where we sort of want to out hustle or outperform. We have to be productive all the time. Well, chronic stress, that's, uh, that's kind of like a disease or a plague. My mind made me sick. I pushed myself over my own limits. Negative stress is something that breaks things down while the beneficial stress that makes you grow challenges you enough so that you actually get to your peak performance. You're not only seeking help when you get sick. You actually create your resilience to different kind of challenges that we are facing as a humanity, but also in your personal life. 
technically speaking, everybody's a biohacker. Everyone's performing biohacks on a daily basis, whether they know it or not. Drinking a coffee in the morning, that's kind of biohacking. Caffeine to stimulate you, to wake you up and get you in this more active state and be alert and show focus. Individually, it is the way of living. Collectively, it is the preventive healthcare system. All the available tools that we can use from nature, from science, from technology, from all kinds of possible ways that we can enhance our self-consciousness. It's kind of sad that most people don't ever truly get to understand how amazing their bodies are and what they're capable of. We can live in the desert, we can live in the Arctic, we can live in the rainforest. So that's been, I think, one of the biggest reasons to our success as a species so far. Physiologically, we've been actually domesticating ourselves. We are basically looking at diversity and how that supports resilience and your health. Just to be able to feel good, you need to pay attention to several things at once. Eating better, sleeping better, moving constantly stressors and environmental disasters, they're not going to go away. They're going to keep happening and we can't really avoid them. The only thing we can do is to keep ourselves more resilient, keep ourselves more adaptable and to prepare for those things in advance. Okay. All right. So that was the trailer and uh... Yeah, the, like I said, the full movie is going to be like an hour and a half. We had actually a lot more material <laughs> that, uh, like, yeah. almost, how, how much was the total, let's say, content? Maybe like two and a half hours or? Uh, yeah, I think the edited one is like the uh, uh, same amount, so one and a half hours. But we re recorded, obviously, like, I don't know, 70 hours in total or something. So a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, of, a lot of good uh, stuff out there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, how long did it take you to, you know, because I think this is only like us two, working on it <laughs> like it's not like a it's a very small indie project and uh it's you are doing like most of the let's say you know content creation and i was doing like the script or um the ideas of what we talk about and uh, organizing the people and that kind of thing so how long did you know usually it takes to like edit this kind of movie for you because you do it like as a professional thing as well for like other things yeah, uh, I mean, uh, this particular project was, I think it was like eight months of editing, uh, but, but you know, it's like uh, eight months, 12 hours a day, every day. So <laughs> like uh, usually, usually when people say um, how long it takes uh, like to edit, they, they take into like they take weekends off and stuff. So, but you know, with the biohacking, you don't really need to rest. You, you can optimize yourself and they uh, you can just work. Um, quite a lot and still you know recover uh, for the next day and you don't really need weekends so yeah mm -hmm. it was like a i would say like eight eight months approximately probably doable in six but um, but yeah mm -hmm. yeah did you do like any did you use any like supplements or any uh, hacks <laughs> to improve your productivity yeah i had uh i've I tried all kinds of stuff, but I, I had this uh, quality mind uh, next uh, <laughs> next to my laptop. But uh, like, it's so powerful that I use it only when I really, really need it. So uh, okay. I, I find like um, like natural things, like I don't know, uh, going out for the walk or just lifting heavy stuff, or just even like a short meditation works like really good for the productivity. And you mm. know, editing is like uh, it's quite quite special in a way that it's quite easy to be focused you know because you just go into this tunnel vision you don't see anything and you just you can just edit like forever without distractions basically so it's not not really hard to focus on focus on editing you know mm, gotcha yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, you know the uh, title is like stronger by stress of how not to be in chronic stress and how to use these positive stresses, but did you get ever like stressed out <laughs> from making making the movie? Uh, yeah, but to the like a, a healthy degree, I would say. I mean, it's just like when you do something like this, you constantly doubt yourself and uh, you don't really know. And for me, the hardest, I think it's for most of the directors, the hardest thing is to just look at this uh, with a 
with the fresh eyes, you know, like, uh, for example, uh, I thought like the film was done in three months. I was really, I really thought like it's done. And then I just took like a couple of days off and watched it and I realized it's so bad. I, I need to work so hard on it. So th these things are the hardest, you know, just to to look at it. Okay, this is what we have and it's not perfect. You know, let's, let's, uh, let's make it good, you know. Mm, yeah, well, maybe like, it's different for the director who has like a more perfectionist outlook and a very like a yeah like you're looking at it as a, like a, this m more than a regular person would um whereas like you know the people that uh, i have talked to and all the like, other cast of the uh movie they all they say that it's very great, good and i also agree that it's really great it's very like engaging and um it's definitely not boring uh, and uh teaches yeah. you in information at the same time but it's also like you know visually very beautiful and appealing and uh yeah the information is also like uh, really good yeah i think eventually we did a good job and that's why we got actually such a wide distribution worldwide because you know if it was just like a home video it would be really like it would probably end up on youtube or something but now it's gonna go everywhere so so yeah it was worth the effort yeah yeah uh what were the, like the main things that you learned or uh, did you learn anything new from from this yeah i, I actually learned a bunch of things it just uh, like a, like general idea is that you don't really much you don't really need much you know uh, to to feel happy and i don't know stay healthy this all these things are like uh, uh, natural. I mean, uh, most of the stuff you can do, you don't really need to buy anything, right? I mean, supplements are nice, but you don't really need them if you, uh, like, I don't know, eat liver and uh, all uh, other whole foods. So, uh, yeah, it was just, for me, it was just like a constant reminder that uh, it's really easy to go to, I don't know, uh, Amazon or somewhere and start buying stuff because, uh, I don't know, somebody told you to buy, but uh, this is just five percent, like ninety-five percent. You can do just with the, you know, natural stuff. Mm, yeah, yeah. So the movie, I'll just you know, maybe do a little synopsis of uh, the idea. So the title "Stronger by Stress" comes from uh, one of my books, "Stronger by Stress," and uh, the reason why we chose this topic was because of you know when uh, we started to think about making a movie in twenty twenty, then uh, the let's say the pandemic had just started. It was the first months of the pandemic. And uh, uh, that was the reason why I started to write a book as well, to just, you know, <laughs> prepare people for these kinds of in inevitable disasters or uh, events that are like, you know, unpredictable and chaotic and have like huge event, huge consequences on everyone. So you can't really avoid those kind of things that will have happen eventually. Like uh, humans have always suffered from different kinds of, you know, stressors in their environment. And uh, we can't even avoid them in the modern world either. And uh, to not become like this, you know, optimistic, <laughs> blindly optimistic, or this very positive thinker that thinks there's nothing bad can happen. Instead of that, we want to like say, yeah, teach the idea of you know becoming stronger by the stressors and using your everyday habits and lifestyle to prepare your body and mind in advance for those things, so that you, when it do happen, you would be like just you know stronger and more resilient against them and that in involves different kinds of you know obviously exercise and saunas and cold uh but also just you know let's say psychological traits of uh, being mentally flexible and uh, uh being able to manage your stress and knowing you know what, what is good stress what is bad stress and you know creating this lifestyle and creating this environment for yourself that uh, helps you to be healthier and uh, more adaptable generally yeah, it's like if you think like uh, not, no one can uh, avoid the stress. I mean, we all experience it. So why why not uh, le leverage it and learn about it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'll also talk about <clears throat> maybe the cast. I'll share the screen again just to give an introduction to the people in there. So obviously first, uh, it's going to be me. We'll talk in I'll talk like yeah different types mostly like you know fasting and uh, exercise and those kind of things. Then we have Demo Arina from Finland, who is one of the authors of the Biohackers Handbook and uh, the curator of the Biohacker Summit, who's also been, been into these kind of things for many years. Uh, Dr. Oli Soviervi, also author of the uh, Biohackers Handbook, 
and a medical doctor in the past. He was uh, Lee Evin, who's a Wim Hof method uh, expert and breathwork instructor. He does ice swimming and those kind of things. He talks a lot about the cold and how you can use that to your advantage. We have Inka Imonen, who is a master's in neuropsychology. And she talks about just mental resilience and uh, meditation and uh, yeah, just like the psychological aspect of stress. We have Jaka Halmeta, who is uh, the third author of the Biohackers Handbook, a nutrition expert and uh, just a uh, you know, very philosophical thinker. And uh, Kaspar Vendelis, who's from Latvia. Uh, he uh, is also basically like a more uh, everyday biohacker and um, talks a lot about different kinds of yeah, ways to use uh, stressors, these hormesis and positive stressors for longevity. And we have Eduard de Wilde, who's, um, I don't know his age, maybe he's like in his 50s or 60s. And uh, yeah, he talked about, yeah, like the, uh, let's say, work related stress and uh, business related stress of how you can just, you know, balance that uh, with your uh, home and uh, lifestyle. So we have obviously many other, a few additional people, but this is the uh, main cast of uh, who are going to share their information. And uh, the reason why we chose them is obviously because we are friends with them and uh, we're also, uh, they're close by. Like we, we planned on, yeah, having a lot more different people across the world, like the US or, um, but you know, obviously because of the pandemic, we weren't able to travel that easily. So, but the Finland border was still open and we uh, basically recorded all of this uh, in Finland, Estonia, and you also went to Latvia with uh, Kasparus uh, for a moment. So yeah, it's a very local, as a Nordic, <laughs> Nordic Estonian and Finland uh, type uh, movie. Yes, indeed. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe let's uh, briefly also talk about you. So uh, yeah, like what, what got you into biohacking and uh, health? Uh, I don't know. I was just like uh, always uh, interested in, in uh, health, but I haven't been particularly healthy all the time. You know, I just like to make some experience, uh, like experience different things. Uh, you know, and uh, but the main reason why I just like started uh, or started to like the biking, like as you said, like we met two years before before um, uh, the film, and uh, Kaspers, who is also one of our heroes in the film, he actually mentioned like, oh, there is one like really young, really smart dude in your country, you should get in touch and blah blah blah. So uh, I went to your um, uh, summit or or get together and uh, it was just amazing to see all these uh, people uh, who have different backgrounds but think same things and want to achieve uh, same things you know and um, then you, you take something like really like basic like fasting and stuff and it's it has just such a great uh, impact on your health and life that I don't know what, why not everyone is doing it but mostly i think why they don't do it because they don't really have enough information you know because it's still considered as starving or something really extreme to do you know but mm. <laughs> we have these primal bodies uh, which are really used to do uh, for, for this kind of stuff you know just our environment is not is not uh, suitable <laughs> For, for for this to naturally happen so you need to you know force it into your life but it has like a, it has like really positive effect so yeah like uh, biohacking is amazing <laughs> in that yeah. way yeah, yeah for sure yeah and yeah when we did record then uh, obviously you being uh, learning from me or looking on information and uh, following some similar practices then we did have like a pretty easy time with all the things like um sometimes well at least we recorded in like the late november or or october was it in one of the summits uh it was like pretty cold outside but we like uh, neither of us was like <laughs> we we didn't care about, about it either and we were just you know doing it recorded and in between the sets we were doing like some uh, jumping jacks or a little bit uh, but on the screen maybe it doesn't <laughs> show or even like the, with Oli Sovier as well when we recorded uh, with him then uh he, he was also doing like squats in between a little bit sometimes because it got the, eventually too cold but obviously like if it were to be some sort of big big uh non-biohacker movie then most of the let's say uh, actors or uh, heroes wouldn't have <laughs> wanted to do something in the cold but for us we actually you know if we're t if you're talking about all the benefits of cold and uh, uh resilience and stress then obviously we have to also uh, you know embrace it or live up to it so it's kind of fun like and the same with like uh, fasting and uh, eating like we didn't 
yeah, usually eat that often uh, during the daytime. Um, and most of us, even if we were here in my home uh, recording, then uh, yeah, we ate once a day as well. And it was like really good, <laughs> good flow and a good, like a good way to see that it, you know, has a positive effect on us at least. Yeah, to be honest, I wish like uh, all the film crew uh, out there was uh, like full of biohackers because you can't imagine how much energy, hustle and uh, time goes into planning, you know, like if you have like a shooting day, like usually it's like 10 hours capped, you know, and but it includes the breakfast, the lunch and the dinner and uh, all kinds of like, there's so many different rules like uh, you have to have like, a, I don't know, huge breaks in between the shooting day, days and stuff. So basically when we do movies and commercials, we always have to take into the account because people are used to, you know, having like three meals or even more like four or five meals a day. But if, if they knew how their bodies actually work, we could produce so much more in shorter time and everyone would be home earlier <laughs> and yeah. have that more time for free time you know but yeah but it's really hard to to you know <laughs> to that's why i actually i think this movie might help uh, quite a lot of people so they just look at it and uh, hopefully will learn something and try experimenting mm, yeah is there, is there something like some biohacks that don't work for you or um that you've tried uh, but you know you can't seem to make work uh, yeah, like uh, some gadgets, uh, which uh, some people say like, oh, it, it's really good. But for me, I, I, I don't really see the difference. So with the technology, I'm uh, now a bit skeptical, especially if they cost uh, like a significant amount of money. I mean, it's nice. Uh, sometimes it's nice, but the benefit you get is like just 2% or something. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, also some things like... Uh, some things are, are working, they're nice, but they're just not convenient or, or just too much hustle to do, you know, and then I just relax in those places, you know, like, for example, I have this uh, blue light blocking glasses, they're really nice, they block, I, I feel the effect, but each time I wear them, I hit my head somewhere, and uh, once I almost broke the nose, and I almost got under the car, you know, so it's like, they're, like, they're too much, so I need to get on other version, which is, <laughs> which mm. makes my, you know, <laughs> so I see more, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, like, uh, those things, but mostly, all the basic stuff, it works, and um, yeah, I love it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Still, like the best, you know, best thing or most powerful thing is still like exercise and maybe saunas and cold and uh, those fasting maybe. And sleep. Sleep is actually yeah. the basis of everything. So, yeah, if you don't sleep, you like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, but um, yeah, let's let's talk a little bit about yeah. Like, over you again like where can people get it where can they watch it from uh, and yeah some of you like the release dates that are in the near future yeah so uh, on a, a march 8 it will be uh, released on itunes right now it's uh, on a pre-sale so you already can uh, book book it but from march 8 it's going to be on uh, itunes also on vmail and all kinds of other uh, video on demand platforms uh, nationwide in US and Canada. In uh, Europe, it's going to go countries by countries and the rest of the world as well. So we're looking for different pa partners because, you know, usually you have to have a like a local partner to release a movie. So obviously there are lots of countries in the world. So we haven't reached out to it everywhere. But I would say that from March, pretty much everyone who wants to watch it will will find it maybe not in the beginning but from mid march you can see it online for sure everywhere yeah gotcha yeah and uh, film festivals yeah uh, we we submitted uh, to the film festivals we actually got all, already one award from the Br brussels uh, film festival really? but uh, <laughs> we'll see yeah yeah <laughs> uh, i'll send you i'll send you the link later uh, but uh, yeah, the other festivals are happening towards the end of the year more. We, we did actually different kind of approach. Usually, you know, when uh, people get done with the movie, they do a festival circuit. So they spend a year in the festivals, uh, you know, sending to the festivals and hopefully getting, getting invited and attending them. And only then they release to the public. But, I, I thought like maybe this time <laughs> let's release to the public first and then go for the festivals because you know uh, the information is good and uh, let's 
try to help as many people as we can as soon as possible and mm. not keep it to ourselves you know yeah yeah for sure i, I agree with that um yeah that's awesome um any other films like uh, in the future plan to making <laughs> Yeah, there are, uh, there are like a bunch of different ideas. It's just like, uh, it's so committing, you know, like uh, for me, it's like one year basically of, of you know, life or something. So uh, before I commit to something, I just want to make sure that that it's gonna be worth it, you know. Like uh, yeah. uh, this, this time it was quite easy. I mean, there, is a bo- there was a book, it was really good. It, uh, obviously people want to read it and uh, let's translate this book into the you know film so yeah, yeah. sounds good yeah that's good um, yeah obviously it's also good to like you know not always create but also you need know, to spread it and uh, basically promote it <laughs> to people yeah, yeah, so they yeah. can see it and not always get, get stuck in like the creation cycle yeah yeah but I wanted to ask you actually what uh, what uh, how, how did you expect the uh, I mean, what did you learn maybe from filmmaking? Because for you, it was probably the first time you you were part of like a bigger filmmaking project. Mm -hmm. What was different from your expectations? Um, Well, I mean, it was pretty easy. Like, uh, like there is going to be like a huge, maybe like, yeah, it's huge effect on things like color grading and uh, basically editing the sound and all those things. It has a huge impact on the actual outcome or the uh, outlook of the scenes or what you're doing. So initially when you are recording in some sort of like a cold <laughs> uh, lakeside in uh, Finland and um, the end result looks like completely different and feels also very different. So very feels very warm, the movie, and uh, feels very, yeah, like cozy in some sense. Whereas in your, when you are actually recording, then it's <laughs> may not be that. Uh, but yeah, I think it uh, definitely, you know, you had like, you have like such a very, very good and unique way of editing of making it very like almost like an action movie or uh, <laughs> because the the, yeah, the the film is looks it's not like some regular boring documentary it's a very like very fast you know it's not it's not like super crazy fast that you can't uh, keep up with but it does have like a good way of uh, keeping the viewer engaged and uh, keeping the uh, basically story entertaining while being interesting at the same time so I think maybe that was a a tool that I learned more of um, how can I incorporate that into yeah from the information side I basically knew almost everything uh, yeah. yeah from that but I think like yeah like even even let's see there's gonna be like still some nuggets of information for even like uh, more let's say advanced uh, biohackers uh, who already know th- think they know that they know everything but uh, there's gonna, still gonna be some good information from there for everyone from all sides it's not super difficult it's not super beginner uh it's kind of it kind of you know oscillates back between like advanced information and basic information quite easily so that you get everything yeah even uh, now <laughs> like when i watch i mean i've watched this film from beginning till end like uh, at least 70 times so <laughs> even now if i watch it uh, for the technical reasons it's not like i need to watch it but i just need to make sure that it's all, all good and even uh, still i learn every time at least something every time i watch it not because uh, not because i didn't know it I just kind of forget you know because there's uh, like bar hacking covers we or we cover so many things in the film basically all the basic things and it's just like you may like if you like exercise you may know a lot about the exercising but you may miss something else you know and if you watch this film just a reminder ah yeah sure i should be i don't know blocking my blue light more or something you know Mm -hmm. yeah right um well yeah so uh strongbestress.com is the website if you want to check out the trailer or the links to the platforms uh as well as contact information where can people learn more about you and your work yeah, I have a website. It's called anzay.com, basically my first name. And uh, I also have Instagram, uh, same uh, anzay.director. And um, yeah, that, that, those are two main channels. Awesome. We're going to put all the links in the show notes. And uh, my last question that I ask everyone is that what's this one piece of advice or habit that you wish you adopted sooner? Uh, start early <laughs> with your health or finances or whatever you want to achieve 
it's just uh, don't wait, just start early. Mm, nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely good information, good advice. Uh, all right, it was uh, good talking with you, and uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, working again in the future as well. Yeah, man, it was good to talk to you.